Hello everyone! Welcome to the Writers Club! Today we're going to be learning about how to use journaling as a tool in creative writing. Stay tuned! Let's hear the story of Lily. Lily is a very sweet, loving, passionate little girl. One day she got up from bed. So as she was getting up, she yawned and said, Another dull day. As she scanned the room, she realized something very peculiar. Her book, her journal really, was glowing. What? What happening? What? What? Lily was super confused, yet curious. So she walked over and cautiously opened the book. Suddenly, there was a flash of light that filled the room. As it faded, Lily saw a fairy? Hello, Lily. I am the journal fairy, the fairy said. Whoa, are you real? A am I dreaming? I never knew fairies were real. Lily was so excited and so amazed. The, Lily, um, <laughs> the fairy smiled. Oh yes, you're not dreaming. Fairies are 100% real. Now I am here to take you on an amazing adventure. Then the fairy grabbed glitter from her pocket and sprinkled it in the air and poof, they disappeared into the journal. When Lily opened her eyes, she was amazed. There was creatures with books as their head and trees with quills as their branches. Whoa, this is amazing! I bet that, the, that these creatures have interesting and awesome stories to tell. Then they appeared in front of a massive, majestical castle where books were flying around. But as they were about to enter, a dragon stood in their way. No one shall pass, the dragon hissed. L Lily looked surprised. She looked over to the fairy. What do we do? She asked. Try writing what the dragon does in your journal, Lily, the, the fairy said. So Lily grabbed her journal and started writing a story about the dragon letting them in. And as if it were magic, the dragon moved. Come in. Lily was so confused. Wait, why? Why everything I'm why is everything that I'm writing happening in this world? Where are we? Lily asked. The fairy smiled. Oh Lily, we are in the world of your imagination where there are endless possibilities. Journaling is the key to unlock the wonders of this world. Inspired, ever since that day, Lily always wrote in her journal exploring new worlds and unleashing her creativity. So, how was that story? Did you like it? Today, we're going to be learning how to use journaling as a tool in creative writing. But first, what is journaling? Good question. <laughs> journaling is more than just putting pen on paper. It's about unlocking the hidden depths of creativity within oneself. Through journaling, you can explore your thoughts, emotions, and ideas in a safe place. Now, I'd like to tell you my own story. Now, you all know that I'm an author. Yes, I wrote this book, The Chips, a not-so-secret journal by Ani Chip. Now, this is probably one of the most happiest things I've ever done in my life, but it didn't just start with writing stories. The first thing I did was journaling. Yes. So every day I come back to home and write. Not necessarily anything important, just, you know, maybe some funny event that happened, an argument with someone, or maybe a place that I went to, and I thought that was interesting. After five months of doing this, I realized that my writing had really improved. And not just that, but I really loved writing. It was my passion. So that's how this happened. All the events and characters in this book are based off of real life experiences, plus some imagination. So I'm living proof that journaling can help you with creative writing. When I say journaling, I mean writing a rough idea about a situation that happened, what feelings triggered at that moment, and if you learned anything new from that experience. Now, I 
after a period of time of writing this journal, start taking ideas and inspiration from the journal and turning them into the amazing stories we want to write. And to help with that, we, we have a magic tool that I like to call sticky notes. Let's see how I use journaling and sticky notes to, for my story. So first step, you have to have a board. Second step, you have to have different colored sticky notes. Why? You're about to see. Now, as you can see, I have, I have three different colors of sticky notes, aqua, gray, and purple. In the first row, you can see it's, it, has, it says names, and we can see Chip, Jessica, Ani, and Soup. So for this, I'm, because the reason I chose these four characters is because they are the main characters of my book. And if they are the main characters, I have to have a clear understanding about them or else I'm hopeless in writing stories about them. So, yes. In the second row, you can see traits written. Now, this is where I write things about the characters. Let's look at, let's look at just, no, let's look at Chip actually. So he's a nerd. Makes sense, he's pretty smart, yeah. He's a foodie. The name says it all. And he's a techie. Yeah, that's his profession, using technology. <laughs> Let's see, how about Soup, the annoying brother? <laughs> so he's cheeky. Of course, he's the youngest child. He has to be cheeky. <laughs> then he's a troublemaker. Hmm, valid point. <laughs> he, and he loves to annoy Ani. Th that's his sole purpose. That's the only reason he came to Earth. <laughs> He's a teddy lover. Yeah, th there's a whole story about that, so yeah. <laughs> then you can see in the last row, there's purple sticky notes, and it says more details. This is about their personality and a bit of how they look like. Let's look at, hmm, Jessica. She's pretty, of course, every woman is pretty, yes. <laughs> She's tall, okay, yeah, of course. She's an average build. That means not too fat, yet not too skinny. She has a smiling face. Of course, she has to be smiling. She, she meditates, she burns sage, she hugs trees. You have to smile. <laughs> soothing voice. Yeah, you, you have two children. You're gonna need a soothing voice, especially for the second one, Soup. <laughs> and you can see, let's say, Ani. He has messy hair. Yeah, you can see that in the pictures of Ani. Tall, he's the tallest of his grade. Did you know that? <laughs> Lazy clothing, makes sense, yeah. And cheerful, he is a really cheerful guy. So you can see, I use this to have a clear understanding of my characters. Now you can see that I've done it, but for a different thing. As you can see, instead of having the names of characters, at the end of the row, it says chapters, not characters. You can see the names of different chapters, like chapter one, intro, chapter two, little rave, chapter three, teddy, and chapter four, holidays. Let's see the first column. It's chapter one, intro. The next column, I mean row, is outline, which is the brief idea of the story. The introduction to all the characters, their interests, and their relationships. So. Who are the characters? How are they all related? That's it. Now, as you can see in the end, where more details are, it doesn't say much, it just says subplot. Subplot is when you're writing the outline, if you have any more, more ideas, you add that in subplot, or more details, really. Let's have a look at the next column, chapter two, Little Rave. This is one of my favorite chapters. So, the Chip family visiting Aunt Maeve and Uncle Dave to see their newborn baby. So the idea of this story is that they go to meet their new baby cousin. Now let's think, what if whilst I'm having an outline, there's things that happen along the way, like maybe something happens whilst they're driving there, maybe they can't get there some reason, or maybe one of the reactions of 
Like, let's say Soup. Since he's the youngest, how is he gonna react to seeing a baby for the first time in his whole life? All those kind of things go in more details. So, that's it my friends. Now you know how to use journaling and sticky notes to have a clear structure of your amazing stories. I really hope that this has helped you and I do hope that you use this t these techniques to write your stories. So that's all for today. Keep writing and stay brilliantly bonkers. Bye-bye. <laughs>